Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I have a solution where to put all those old hard drives that you outgrown so you can get back to some of your old movies or just have additional storage. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. In front of me, I have four hard drives, but there's some things you need to know before you get started. Make sure all your hard drives are SATA connections, and the way to tell that, they usually have these exposed connections on the back of it. The ones with the pins or IDE, and those are a lot older, so they won't work on this hard drive enclosure. Now, there's a lot of hard drive enclosures, and some of them are very expensive, and some of them are less expensive. They have a couple of models of this one, but these can range from $90 up to $170. So the model I'm using today is the ProBox, HF2-SU3S2. This enclosure is USB 3.0. It also supports eSATA and the older version of USB 2.0. But if you can see the speed differences, USB 3.0 is going to be about 5 gigabits per second maximum transfer rate. eSATA can go up to about 6 gigs. And if you can see, USB 2 is only 480 megabytes. This enclosure also has a built-in fan, which you can remove just in case over time it gets worn out. It supports Windows 7, 8, and 10, and it also supports Apple computers. In the box, you get a quick installation guide, a USB 3 connection cable, an eSATA connection cable, an external power supply, four hard drive mounting plates, and I didn't know this up front, but it also comes with its own screwdriver. Taking a closer look at the front of it, you have a control of the interface so you can switch from eSATA to USB. You also have automatic fan, and then you have these different levels of fan controls. Use this bottom button to do that. And then it has a sync button so you can synchronize it with your computer. To access the hard drive base, you press in and it hinges open. And you can also take that off if you need to temporary. To access the mounting brackets, take these two tabs and press down and then this door slides right out. To install the hard drive, it's very simple. On the opposite side of the connectors, you want to take this little tray here and screw them in on the side. It's also labeled up so you can't get it wrong. And that's what it looks like right there. Now you figure out which bay you want it in and you simply take the hard drive and drop it right in. You'll, you'll feel the connectors inside there on the back of it. Once you mount all the hard drives back in, you replace the cover and snap it back in place and reinstall the door. I'm going to install the rest of the hard drives later, but now let me show you how it's connected to a computer and show you how you can access your files. Go ahead and plug the power cable in and then plug it into the side of the enclosure. I'm going to be using a USB 3 cable, so plug that into the back of the unit. Then use a USB 3 connector or 2 connector on your PC or Mac. Now everything's ready to go, let's boot up the computer and see if I can see the files. Now that I'm on the finder, let's go ahead and power up the hard drive once again. And there it is, it just popped up. Since it's just popped up, I'm gonna power down the hard drive and add a few more and see what other options I get. So now I have all the adapters connected. Let's go and install the hard drive into the bay, but make sure you unplug it first. Plug it back in. Now we're ready to do some testing. And there's all the hard drives popping up. So in conclusion, this MediaSonic device works really well. I mean, it picked up all my files and it will support up to 10 terabyte hard drives. 
Currently right now, the biggest one I have in here is four terabytes, which is pretty decent. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.